all, just avoid the turrets, which don't seem to be very uh, accurate to begin with. Okay, I like this one. This one seems a little easy. Even compared to the other Spitfire level that we had, that one was a little threatening. Plus, like I said, these missiles fall, and boom. Hey everybody, Nostalgia Scott coming to you guys in part 10 of Spyro, Enter the Dragonfly for the Sony PlayStation 2. So, this episode, we'll be going to Monkeyville, or I guess after we talk to the monkey, right? Because, yay. Right. Also, why are you Australian? Um... Oh my god, that is not janky at all. Anyways, I fixed the graphics again. Also, it was running slow because my computer needed a reboot for whatever reason. It was really, really, really choppy. Doing anything, even in, even editing my thumbnails, which takes no computer power whatsoever, was bad. Also, like, look at this animation. This is way better. It actually looks like we're moving somewhere. All right, we're in Monkey Monastery, which has also the one dragonfly here for the freezing the dragons is bugged. And I can't get it. I collected all three, respoke to all of them. It just bugged out, so yay. Um, yeah, and Luau Island, like I said, it's just that one. Monkey Monastery has 10 and 900 gems. This is the biggest level outside of Luau Island for gems. Which is interesting because the next levels are actually really short in comparison to collectibles, yet the levels themselves aren't any shorter. Now, so this level runs a lot smoother than the rest. Those unbalanced Riptox have invaded our sacred monastery! Of course, we practice divine compassion, so we really can't get involved in anything violent. Okay. Also, I really hate how the text is so slow compared to the, um, like, voice. <clears throat> in a lot of games, the voice is actually faster, or, uh, the text is actually faster than the voice. Yeah, this level does suffer a little bit of slowdown, though, because it is snowing all the time, so a lot of, like, the, um... Also, in this game, you can jump on ice, which isn't how the ice is supposed to be. Also, there's a dragonfly already. There is a mini game here, though, that is a little bit annoying. But, there, like I said, there's way worse out there. So I can't remember if this level is a speedway or not. Wait, did you just go onto the ice? I'll oh, come back here. Like I said, the wor your worst enemy with these dragonfly, oh my god, is the um, is the camera, not them themselves. And there we go. Hey, it's foam. Yay, foam. Wait, why is your name foam? I really feel like they meant to name. I, I think they meant to make these fireflies, not dragonflies. A lot of the names would have fit the fact that if they were dragonflies, it would at least or uh, fireflies it would at least make more sense than if they were dragonflies. Like, even Sparks' name doesn't really fit the fact that he's a dragonfly. And the fact that he glows. He literally looks like a firefly. Just without the glowing bulbous butt. So this is a lot of gems. Oh my god, do you have to go ouch every time I bump into the wall because hitboxes in this game are, like, terrible? I think you do. At least the ice looks pretty good. I like I said with the water in this game, too. The water looks pretty good. Um, now how do I get into this door? There's a dragonfly on the other side of it. Also, I haven't recorded my computer in a while. I was recording a bunch of um, uh, Xbox games on my console, where um, my microphone wasn't in the way of recording. Also, you need a key for this. The only level in the entire game to actually have the key and chest gimmick. Which is a common trend in literally every Spyro game. Actually, Spyro 2 doesn't have them. Spyro 2 introduced a, a new one called Mystery Vases, but Spyro 3 brings them and the key chests back, so it's kind of a weird one. Anyways, let's go and kill this guy. Also, the first of the Riptox, finally. Okay, the ones with the snowballs can be... Oh, they have shields, okay. I see what I'm supposed to do here. 
Wait, is that Bartholomew from um, Spyro 3? And also, um, actually, I don't think he's actually ever shown up. I think the only other time he's shown up is in this game. Bentley shows up in a Hero's Tale, which is technically was supposed to be part of this, like, Red, Crush, Golf, Ripto, Nasty, No Exorcist were all actually supposed to be part of the same game. And then same with Ember and Flame being playable characters. But then they scrapped that idea for, you know, these two games that we got now, Hero's Tale and this. So, actually, let's go grab these gems first, and then we'll go talk to Bartholomew and see what he's up to. Spyro! I know you've heard that Yeti are scary monsters, but we are peaceful, which is why we live here in this once peaceful realm. The true monsters are the Riptox, and they've taken my kind and imprisoned them in the ice. Can you save the five Yeti with your flame breath? Yeah, super easy challenge. Also, I really do like the fact that the te text above his head looks like an HD Spyro mod. That's just how good it looks. I like that. But for whatever reason, a lot of this game, like, like when you look at this level, right, it looks good. It, it feels good. It plays good. It isn't janky at all. Like, it's just, like, sure, the camera and stuff and the slow, the slow pace of the game, or slow pace of the game, still leaves much to be desired, but it's not nearly as bad as the rest of the game. Also, you need a cannon for these, I'm pretty sure. Your ice, your flame breath doesn't melt this, even though if you flame it enough times, it should technically wear it down. But we're not going to get over that, because they needed the cannon gimmick in this game. Every Spyro game, including Spyro 1, had a cannon gimmick, so it's just one of those trends that they keep in Spyro. Um, I thought I missed the blue gem, but it turns out I actually missed the enemy's gem, because enemies have... Ow. I wanted to stop to flame him, but then it just kept going and it just. Yeah, that didn't work out very well. Why am I hearing a why yai yai yai? Like, what is that? Is that the music in the background? Or is that, like, a character up here? Oh, it's a monkey. They kind of have, like, a sound effect similar to those from, um. Colossus in Spyro 2, which is kind of interesting. And I guess we're talking to him. Greetings, young dragon! I believe the turret behind you could be a very useful weapon for you to use on your quest. We use it for our annual Snowball War. Oh, it's quite an event. Although we are a non-violent people, we do have our vices. Perhaps you might want to glide over there and try it out. So Snowball Cannon's gonna break ice. That makes perfect sense. Like, that makes 100% perfect sense why we're using snow to break ice. Ice is just harder snow, man. You do you do realize this. It's not how life works. It's not how physics work either, man. Also, why are those gems upside down? Also, I love how there's a whirlwind all of a sudden. Uh okay. Okay, there's a Yeti over there. I don't think we can technically destroy him. Or like No, you can't get low enough to hit him. Oh wait, no, that's what the whirlwind's for. And we should just have to raise this a little bit. Oh, oh, no, that actually hit it, nice. So we'll take the whirlwind here, which did bring us to the Yeti. And like I said about your breath types in Spyro, very rarely do you actually ever use any breath type outside of your um, flame breath. I like the cold. But I don't like it that much. Thank you, Nigel Thornberry, I guess? Honestly, kind of reminded me of Nigel Thornberry, even with the voice acting. But we did open up a pathway back here, so I guess we can go back and check what's up over here. Uh, we got one of these guys that we can't charge. Also, the, my biggest gripe with the enemies in skin. Also, what, the gems are upside down again. Wait. Oh, I thought there was nothing over here, but it opened up this pathway, technically. Which I think is for the key, I think. Or it might just be a loop around path. There's a lot of those in this game. Also, at least the gems kind of stand out here, unlike certain levels. Where, like, if our level's too green, then the green gems uh, blend in. And uh, I would have got them if the camera was just a little better. 
Oh, and it's more ice, and it looks like we got a uh, fire, firefly, a dragonfly over here. Come back here, you. Where are you? Oh, there you are. I really wish it would always do the dash sound effect, because half the time you can't tell where it is, because it's off screen. Okay. I'm just gonna wait for my camera to slowly pan around and go and get this guy. Okay, yeah, go over here. Oh, come on, why did I... What is going on with the... There we go. Holly. Hey, it's Holly. Thank you. The worst part about this game is cycling through breaths. At least in the Hero's Tale, you used the D-pad, which had a specific breath attached to each of the buttons. But in this game, the D-pad is just to move. See, I'm using the D-pad now. It's just to move. Which, by the point that, like, the fact that we're on a PS2 game really makes it seem like, you know, they could utilize the D-pad for other controls. Also, one of the only checkpoints, man. This is another issue that this game has, is checkpoints. The biggest issue is definitely the checkpoints above all else. The game being janky could be justified if there were more checkpoints, but for whatever reason, this game has less checkpoints than any other Spyro game. Literally any, even the hero, uh, heroes. That one too. That one had a few issues, which uh, could have been resolved just with uh, uh, checkpoints. But what I'm getting at is, uh, Legend even had more checkpoints. I will be playing the Legend series eventually. I'm not a big fan of three. Like I like two, or uh, I love one, and two is good, but. Uh, Three just isn't my cup of tea normally, so I, I kind of I had it on my uh, PS3 back in the day, but I, I didn't even beat the first level. Like I just got lost immediately because I had no idea what was going on, and that was it. That was like the last time I had ever played it. I just didn't find it fun because I was on a kick of collecting like older games for a while back when I had a you know somewhat steady job that actually gave me you know decent hours a week. The last job I had that they fired me from because I. Uh, broke something there that I told them it would break if I did it, and they made me do it anyway, and it broke, and then they got mad at me. Um, they weren't giving me good hours. Like, I, my shifts a lot of the time were, like, 7 in the evening to, like, 1 in the morning, or sometimes I worked till 3 in the morning, and it just, it was just not very reasonable. The buses didn't run, um, it was just overall really stupid. Is this the end of the level? I feel like this is the end of the level. Help, Spyro! These flying riptocks are a menace! Oh, they're just guarding the Yeti trapped in ice. Okay, I kind of want to go back and grab that health. <sighs> I also needed that gem anyway. Also, how many gems do we have here? I need a drink while we check. We have 500 already. Let's see what we have for totals. We have on the loose, on the ledge, and behind the doors. Which I think is given to us in the guidebook like that because we either heard it or it's technically just beating the level. I can't remember which which part of it, you know, it is. Oh, there's actually quite a few gems here. Wow. There were 14 gems just right there. That's pretty good. <clears throat> Where exactly are we going? It would be really beneficial if I could see. Also, are those Riptox literally just dinosaurs? I don't even think they're like... They're, they're not even Riptox, they're just... They're Pterodactyls. They were just called Pterodactyls in Spyro 2. Those aren't Riptox at all. And also, what the heck is going on with my momentum? It was like, shooting me sideways repeatedly. Wow, there's over 15 gems just in this one. Whoa, is that a 25? Nah, oh, it's a 10. I still don't get why some of the 10s are 25s. Like, I know why. Because, yay, logic, but... Also, there's, I think, the exit portal down there. We still haven't found any minigame portals here yet, so that's a thing. Also, we still have to find all the Yetis. Oh, there's one of them right there. Oh yeah, I forgot. Inverted control. Oh, the moon. You know 
get over here, you scum of the sky. Uh oh. Wait, how am I supposed to kill that one? He's down below. Also, what the heck was that sound effect? Wait, there's no way I can kill these. They stay below ground. Also, there's a fairy right there, so what's over here then? Something else we gotta break. So there's- oh, there's more cannons than just this one here. Oh, there's literally a cannon right here. Oh, alright, I'll happily use another cannon to save the world, I guess. That's- that's fine by me. Alright, cannon number two. Or I guess technically three if we want to go in. That did not hit him, but I'll take it. Oh yeah, there's a getting it here, I'm pretty sure. What was that last pterodactyl? I'm not gonna call you Rip Dogs. There you are. I don't even know if like it was necessary. What? <clears throat> okay, we got Gaku. Hey, it's Gaku. Or Gaku? That is a little weird. Was that actually a challenge? I really feel like that was not a challenge, man. Come on. Hunting whip talks. Not even not even rip talks, just whip talks. Okay, and that's the guy who gave us the challenge. Is there any way like back? No, it looks like we have to go back up. And to get over there, it looks like we're gonna have to go back down here. I guess technically you could die. And then just use Zoe to get back up. It looks like we're gonna have to like loop around a few times, like back up the same way, because we do want to go down here, and you can hold down the analog stick to uh do that, and boom, we freed him. Nice. It's a good thing you came along when you did, Dragon. Thank you, Simon. And now we gotta do it again, because logic. Also, the birds in the background there. Ah, 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 sounds intimidating. The music here, I will admit, the music in this game really did capture the essence of the Spyro games. Don't get me wrong, like, the music in this game, still really good. Hero's Tale even had good music, like I said before. Um, we do need to go down there, and we do need to go over there, but looks like we can't go that way just yet. Oh, there's a rocket over there. We also still need the key. Now this is the end of the level, so that's a thing. I don't like the fact that they put gems behind the portal though, because this is giving me Crash Bandicoot flashbacks. I don't know if that up that episode will be uploaded before or after this episode, but when I was playing Warp, it sucked me through the portal, and I couldn't get the uh, gem. Alright, so the ice just breaking didn't have a sound effect. Let's see what this monkey dude says, though. Hopefully he gives us a dragonfly. Wow! That was more than I expected, but, uh... Thanks. Wait, nothing? That's that's it? Nope, okay. Thanks, Mr. Monkey Man. You're so amazing. Here, you're just the bestest. Anyways... Oh, okay, so this is the end of the level, but the, or the beginning of the level, but that's the yet. I think that's the final yet you get, I think. We still need three, though, so that's one. And we know one's up there, so we gotta backtrack, but we can also go this way, so... We'll go this way, which I'm pretty sure is either the door, the key, or both. Also, I don't trust these type of platforms in this game, because... If you're too close to the ledge, you can't... Ah, poop. You can't actually hover or glide, it'll, like, send you down. Also, there's no loading time, I just heard that. Oh, we can actually go back this way now, though. Um, or, you know, just face through the wall, that's cool. I should maybe, you know, actually... ...not be stupid. Oh, there's the key! Which has a shell? Why is it a shell? I'm so confused. It, it, wouldn't that make sense to be like in Luau Island or something like that? Also, these platforms, even though they're floating, don't have the same weird physics that the ones in Luau Island did. 
Like I said, I really feel like this level was one of the very first levels that they had designed. And then whatever came after, or uh, came next was after this, because this level is just a thousand times better. Oh, okay, we got a mini game. I guess we can go and see what this one is. I'm pretty sure I know what this one is. Pretty sure it's like the ski level. Which I think has two dragonflies. I think. As for the other minigame, oh yeah, we almost have all the gems. We have just over 100 left, which isn't bad. So we'll, I think we get to 4,900. Yeah, because we were at 4,000, but we were only at 38 because of... Oh, never mind. Byro, the Ripfox have invaded our land and are constructing torch factories to destroy the monastery. Do you think you can destroy all the Ripfox factories with the Spitfire plane? What is with you guys and the Spitfires? I'm not a big fan of the Spitfire. Oh, this actually doesn't seem that bad. Like, honestly, the controls for this are really good. And all you have to do is just mash the uh, A button, and boom, problem solved. Just avoid the turrets, which don't seem to be very uh, accurate to begin with. Okay, I like this one. This one seems a little easy. Even compared to the other Spitfire level that we had, that one was a little threatening. Plus, like I said, these missiles fall, and boom. Done. Great job, Spyro. Here, I found this dragonfly in one of the factories. Nice. Who is it? John? Really? Hey, it's John. What a simple name. Oh. Okay, so it's, it's just, they destroy him anytime. Okay. Not at all what I thought the minigame was, but I'll take that one. That one's literally like a 30 second minigame. Anyways, I think this is a good spot to end the episode. So anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, join the Discord and Patreon and links below, and I will see you guys all next time when we finish up Monkey Monastery. Probably not my favorite level, but the best designed level in this game. The, my favorite one is Honey Marsh, but it's it's another bad janky one. See you guys.